Hello, I'm Willoughby from Spokesperson, and because we can walk and chew gum at the same time, I'm going to be talking about how to use a quick release lever and discrimination in bike shops. Here is a very shiny, shiny quick release lever right here. Uh, this one happens to be a Campag one. Uh, the quick release lever was incidentally invented by Campagnolo in 1927, for those of you that are interested. It's approaching 100 years old. It is the action of closing a quick release like that that puts these springs under tension, and it's this tension that holds the wheel in the frame. Speaking of tension, getting people into cycling, getting more people into cycling, is going to be crucial over the coming decades as we transition to carbon neutrality. But the reasons many people choose not to cycle is not fully understood and is not being adequately addressed. Here is the spring from our quick release. You can see it's got a sort of narrow bit, a wider bit, shaped kind of like a cone. When we fit our quick release, we want the narrower bit facing inwards. We want the wider bit facing outwards, pushing against the caps at the end. And we want one spring on either side. Right now in Wales, nearly three quarters of those who cycle on a regular basis are male. And while 8% of white people cycle regularly, only between 2 and 3% of black, Asian and minority ethnic people choose to do so. Cycling is very white and very male, and while factors contributing to this are myriad, we can't ignore the reality that racism and sexism are among them. As for LGBTQ people, the people that are gathering the statistics around cycling are so the whatever the opposite of switched on is, I'm not even sure if they're gathering the data. On our quick release, we have some little letters that say closed and open. You can see that when I pull the quick release lever to the closed position on this wheel, that's what puts the tension on this wheel and holds it in the frame. While some of the sexist and other discrimination in cycling is demonstrable in the sport of cycling or an infrastructure design. I want to talk a bit about an area that I know a lot about, which is bike shops. I've worked in bike shops for 12 years, and I know a fair bit about the racism and sexism and homophobia that goes on in them. In order to get the quick release tight enough, you're going to hold the lever bit in the open position. I'm going to hold it still with one hand, and with the other hand, I'm going to turn the opposite side, to the left to loosen, or to the right to tighten. It should be done up tight enough, but it's pretty secure in the frame, but never so tight that you have to open or close it with a tool. Now pretty often I meet women, BAME, and LGBTQ people who have horrendous experiences in bike shops. Women often tell me stories like, the guy who fixed my bike was so intimidating and acted like I was an idiot for not knowing what needed fixing, that in the end, I just decided not to fix it and I took it home and left it. And I've heard black friends of mine tell me about how they went into a bike shop, wanted to buy a bike, but the people in there acted like they were there to steal something. So they just thought, fuck it. And I've heard absolute horror stories from trans women about going into bike shops and hearing mechanics in the back of the shop thinking they can't be overheard but they can making disgusting transphobic jokes and laughing you usually never need to remove the entire quick release in order to get a wheel out of a frame at the rear you should be able to simply Pull the quick release lever into the open position and the wheel comes out of the frame. Going back to what's happening here, this isn't just a case of a few dudes who work in bike shops being dicks. 
This crap happens consistently to women, LGBTQ plus people, and BAME people. This is systemic discrimination. And it might not be all white guys in all bike shops. It might not even be the majority, but many, possibly the majority, of people in these groups are experiencing this. At the front of the bike, you may need to loosen the quick release on the side opposite the lever, opposite the lever, in order to clear these little shelves, tabs, often called the lawyer tabs, in order to get the wheel out of the dropout. The dropout is the bit of the bike where the wheel goes in. Top tip, in order to get the rear wheel out, it's best to shift into the outermost or smallest sprocket. This systemic discrimination is a social just justice issue, but it's also an environmental issue. At the moment in the UK, the transport sector is putting out 26% of our total greenhouse gas emissions. That's the largest of any single sector. And we're not going to chip away at that and get people on bikes if we're putting people off. Finally, it's a good idea to put the bike on the ground and do the quick release up one last time before you ride it. This ensures that the wheel is centered in the frame and isn't sitting at a funny angle. I just want to underscore the need to address sexist, racist, and trans homophobic attitudes pervading the cycling industry, in bike shops, in the advertising, everywhere. We need to open up education to bikes to a broader spectrum of people to give people a sense of ownership and confidence. We need more women and more LGBTQ people and more BAM people in bike shops, in the industry, at all levels. And we need to make cycling safe, affordable, and accessible for everyone. Once again, I'm Willoughby from Spokesperson. I'm going to be doing an entire series of these walking and chewing gum videos. You can like and follow me here on Facebook or on Instagram. If you live in Cardiff, I also do bicycle repair classes. For more information about those, go to my website. Open. Close. Open. Close. Thanks for listening and come join the revolution. You usually never need to take the quick release completely out of the wheel in order to remove the wheel. At the rear, you should simply be able to pull the quick release. You usually never need to take the quick release lever completely out of the wheel in order to remove the wheel. At the rear, you should be able to simply open the quick release lever. Ah, son of a bitch, fuck. <laughs>